Welcome everyone to HFN, also known as Human News. Today is July the 11th, 2021. This is our portfolio review. We're going to give you all the best stocks to buy right now. And we're going to show you our portfolio as to what has been occurring and the performance of these stocks that are in our portfolio and how to manage them. Right? We're going to see whether or not we need to keep them in our portfolio. Should we take the profit while we got it before the market continues to go lower? Or should we just immediately take it out because we're losing, right? We don't keep the bad apples in our basket when they're not performing the way that we expected it to go. And you can do it all by taking a couple of minutes, a couple of seconds, look at this chart and see what you got and then move on to the next one, right? And then at the end, we're going to show you which stock we're going to add to the portfolio that we're going to watch. So if you want to join us, hit the like button, share the video, also subscribe. We're here creating a community of people who values price only who looks at price as the determinative factor as to where the market ultimately is going to go. Okay. We don't try to confuse you. Everyone else tries to give you confusion. They look at SEC reports. They look at mainstream media. They look at tweets. They look at fundamental analysis. They look at technical analysis and they still give you no better position to win in the market. The less that you have, the more powerful you are in the stock market. It's just that easy. It's just that simple. All right. So take a look at this. This is it right here. We have what out of six stocks, three are up and three are down. So let's start out. Let's look at the first one, which is a 10 to you guys can see that since we added to the portfolio it's up 6.21%. We've been tracking it on a weekly time frame, so maybe it's been two weeks. Um, this particular stock has been in our portfolio and it has been very climactic, right? This is not, I want you all to see how we place restriction into the market in a 10 to around $30, right? And last week, the price came all the way up there towards $29.65. That was the high of last week. Like we don't guess as to where we're expecting the market restriction to go because take a look at where price ended last week so that it, it this is indicative of selling coming into the market and attend to right so the day that we could have gotten all of the majority of the profit out the market and attend to occurred on july the 6th and july the 7th those were the two days those were the days that we should have taken the profit out the market even though it didn't come already up here to 30 this was it this is why we try to tell you all that is around that area that we would expect to take profit but we didn't catch it so while we still have profitability in this market for a 10 to we need to go ahead and take it out because looking at this from the weekly basis a lot of stock power came into the market last week that is indicative of price going to go lower this upcoming trading week so while we still have the profit we need to grab the bag which is only 6.21 percent but hey is profit so let's go ahead and take that out we're going to go ahead and get rid of this and take the profit out on that one right before the market continues to dip now let's go ahead and look at the next one which is copa holdings okay cpa so this is copa you guys can remember that we expected the market to go lower okay we expected that the weakness was going to continue but take a look as well. The market did not break our support area. In fact, last week was a probable precursor of strength into the market in Copa, right? And could this be the reason? Are we seeing the market in Copa continue to ride the trend? So we can still see this market in Copa go lower and test this overall trend in this space, right? So we've got this area here that is still attributable to the weakness that we can expect us to come down to. Okay, we can see that. So we have to be prepared. We have to position our mind to be prepared for that and not to act erratically just because the price goes lower. We can actually anticipate that to happen in Copa Holdings, right? So how the market performed last week still tells me that the buyers are still trying to come in and support the price. So even though the portfolio reads that we're down 7.17%, 
the chart is still showing us that the market is trying to go higher in price. So we're going to continue to ride the market in Copa. We're not going to exit out the position just yet. I'm just going to continue to watch it. Okay. So now let's look at the next one, uh, which is uh, Cveo, CVEO Corporation. And this is the market here. Okay. Now let's take a look at this one. This particular market in Cveo is still giving us a lot of strength. The market strength is still here. So we can actually keep this on the table in a portfolio, even though we're up 11.61% right now in Cveo. Now I'm looking at this area though for some restriction. So like I told you with a 10 to, right? We're barely there now. Would you come through and take the profit into Cveo now? That would be about 11.61%. Or would you wait until we top out around $20.63? That's about 16. The market tells us everything we need to know. And looking at this on a weekly basis, the market strength is still here in Sabeo. So we're going to continue with our prediction in Sabeo. We're going to keep it in the chart because the market strength is still there. Now, right there around $20, $21, we might need to take it off. And that might happen next week in trading rather than at the end of the week when we come through and look at the market. So just be prepared for that as well. But so far, so good. We're going to continue to ride the market in Savaya Corporation. We're going to continue to have it in our portfolio. We're not going to get rid of it just yet. All right. So now let's look at this third one, uh, which is LS Starrick Company SCX. Okay. Now here it is. This is weakness two, right? Last week, well the week before last, see that? We already knew that the market in star was gonna go lower. We already knew it. But we have our position already on where we would really need to evaluate the overall weakness in this stock. And it's right there around $7, almost $8. We're not there yet. Matter of fact, take a look at the volume. So when you look at the volume in the market from last week versus the week before, the spread tells us that there was more buyers into the market last week in LS, a whole lot more, because the volume is the same, but the spread of the bar is smaller. So something was hindering the price from going a lot lower in price. So it still looks pretty good, right? Even though we're seeing the market in Star give us a lot of weakness so far, we're going to continue to ride on with our portfolio. We're going to keep it there. It's not going to be quick, right? This upward movement in SCX is not going to be quick. We're kind of drawing this one out into the market and start. And just like I did in, um, let's follow the trend, right? This is the overall trend here into the market and start. So yeah, we're not going to change anything yet into the market and start. Okay. Now let's take a look at support.com. We just added this one last week. SPRT uh, is the symbol. It's the ticker symbol. And here it is. See, again, this is one of those instances to where time in the market really teaches us a lesson and you cannot be greedy into the space. Just like within, uh, what was it, a 10 to? You guys can see that the market in support already came to where we expected it to go June the 6th and June the 7th, just like in the 10 to, right? We, we position ourselves to expect these things to happen so that we can already be in position and win. This is one thing I really want to interrupt. I mean, really want to say to everyone in our community that you have to already understand where the market can find sellers and come back down. Because we told you when we did our last video, when we added it to our portfolio that, yeah, we're expecting the market to come around 520 to $5.35, give or take. And then that's where we're expecting the market to go down. And that is precisely what happened. Right. So, yeah, we didn't get to take the profit because it happened throughout the trading week. So instead of us trying to continue to hope that the market and support is going to go up to this particular level weakness came in last week so even though we're only skimming off 1.14 percent we need to take that while we have it because how we ended last week tells me that there's still a little bit more weakness to come through 
Now, of course, if you want to play this for the extreme long term, i.e. six months, a year, you still have this ascending line to play off of, though. OK, so as long as support maintains price alongside the ascending line, you could continue to write it. Right. But for us, we're just going to take the profit and move on to the next play. So let me go ahead and take this one out. 1.14%. Cool. OK. Now, let's look at this last one, which is Scorpio Tankers. OK. Uh, the ticker symbol is STNG. Oh, hold on. Let me clean this up. OK. STNG. So again, we were following the market in Scorpio tankers alongside that ascending line. OK. So, yes, we're seeing weakness so far, but we're still maintaining a trend in the long term. So we've had this in the portfolio ever since the week of May 24, 2021. We had one opportunity to really see some profitability and we came right back down. So we're still going to watch this particular stock alongside this ascending line. If we break it, then we definitely need to evaluate $18 to take the profit. I mean, take the loss and move on to the next play. But so far, we're still intact to continue to see this market go higher in Scorpio tankers. So we're going to leave it alone. OK. So out of the four that we got right now in a portfolio, uh, ones that I would really be watching would be definitely Scorpio tankers. Right. That would definitely need to be watched. Now, let me show you the stock that we are going to add to our portfolio now. And here it is. This is Canada Goose Holdings. Looks pretty good. The market here in Canada Goose over the last couple of weeks has been in a pretty good uptrend. So let me show you. This has been the trend in Canada Goose, right? Not only are we seeing this market maintain the uptrend, this market has held support here. So we got two things going in favor for this market in Canada Goose. Support right there around 38 and the market able being able to continue to stay intact of that ascending line right there. OK, now let's see how the market in Canada Goose has been trading over the last three weeks so far. Yes, the strength is there, but there's still some profit taking going on in the market in Canada Goose right here. Forty five dollars. OK, that is acting as restriction and we need to pay attention to that. Three months time frame, how we ended the last three months is very positive in terms of seeing a lot of weakness come through on this three month period. The last one, we really didn't see that same outcome. As a matter of fact, the market bought up the selling that occurred in Canada Goose on that last three month price bar that started January the 4th, 2021. OK, so now let me look at this on the monthly time frame. How we ended last month also shows me that the market wants to go higher. The only thing that's in its way is forty five dollars. That's it. But over the last couple of months, I want to circle this. OK, right here. This is telling me that even when we see weakness coming to the market in Canada Goose, someone is in this space buying it. Because the market is not reacting to the weakness. We should have seen the market in Canada Goose, especially on this monthly price bar, March 1st, 2021, to continue to go lower in price. But instead, we saw the market close higher. And that's how it has been trading thus far. That's the reason why we're going to add this one to our portfolio. OK, so now. Let me show you where we're expecting the price to go, because already I told you that forty five dollars is a hindrance. It is holding back. The market price in Canada Goose. So you need to be prepared to at least try to take some profit off the table around 45. The next area is up there around 47.50 or $47.45. Now, what I'm going to do though, I'm going to bring it all the way up there towards 50. Again, that's just a ballpark. That's not exactly where I'm telling you the price is going to go in Canada Goose. It's going to be around that vicinity though. And our support area is going to be right there around $37.50. OK. So let's watch the market. Bring this over. 
And again, be prepared, this might happen throughout the trading day. All right. So now let's go ahead and add it here to our portfolio. Yeah, we got it on a chart. We're going to track it on a chart. Now let's add it. Okay, let's go ahead and do uh, 100 shares is recorded. So let's see what the analysts are talking about this particular stock then. Okay, let's see what they're saying. So we have what? 10 ratings. We got 10 analysts tracking this market in Canada Goose. Seven of the ratings are a buy, two are a hold, and one is a sell. Cool. Now from where the price closed on Friday, which was at $42.90, with an average price target of $47.81, that's about 11.45%, right? We got our price target around 50. So we're pretty much in range with what the analysts are talking about. Okay. And it's recent. These are the analysts right here who are tracking Canada Goose. Price target of 60, 60, uh, $45. Robert has $24 and a sell rating. So he, that was about two months ago that he's looking for the price in Canada Goose to go lower. Okay, so that's it. So we got it in our portfolio. We're going to track it. We're going to watch it. And this is all you have to do. So now, what do you think? What do you think is the best stock to add to a portfolio now? Leave us a comment in the comment section and let us know. Make sure you maintain a profitability. And as always, trade different.